Let's talk about some flyback transformers right here. We have AC and DC. And a lot of the times when I look on YouTube, I don't find a whole lot of people that explain this to you. So I'm going to do that for you today. Let's take a look. We have a DC flyback transformer right here. We have an AC flyback transformer right here. What's the difference? One's internally rectified. What does that mean? Not a lot of people understand it. So let's go ahead and take a look. This right here is the inside of a DC flyback transformer. All it is, is wire wrapped around a single post. And then on the outside, these are actually the diodes right here. This is what rectifies it. So let's take a look. I did a video on this. Here it is. I broke it down a little bit. Let me just go back just a hair. Going fast. You can see the wire in here. I'll give you a still shot of that. Uh, but the wire is in there. The outside, however, this is the part that rectifies it. This is what troubles people. They can't find it. Here it is. You see the little lines here? Just copper, copper, plastic. This one's full copper. This one's full copper. This one, again, is copper and plastic. This is your internal diode. This is why you can't find it. This is why most people don't understand it. Most people don't tear it down this far to see exactly what's inside of it. This is it. This is what makes it DC. They internally rectify it with diodes. It looks strange. Yeah, let's take a little more look at it. Doesn't look like it's going to be what you think it is. But that's it. I just wanted to make something clear in here. There's pieces uh, with copper on it and then there's clear pieces. And in between each piece of one with copper on it, there's a clear piece that goes in between. So they're actually split on each one. So none of the copper touches each other on this. And there you go. You see the wire in there again right there. It's all wrapped around individually cord. That's why you have the wires coming out the bottom. They're individually cord. One to the next. Just so we're clear, anytime you see one of these, it's a DC flyback transformer. It is not AC. It is DC for sure. Internally rectified. This is an AC flyback transformer that I built. And here is one that I bought. You can see two wires only coming out of them. It's one of the differences between AC and DC flybacks. Now let's get into the AC flyback and let's see exactly what it does. This is an AC flyback transformer. So let's take a look at the difference from the DC. The DC had diodes. You saw it was internally rectified. AC is not. So you still have your iron ferrite core. It goes all the way through. This is simple printed off plastic from your 3D printer. And all you do is you have a little slice at the top of each one of these that allows the wire to continue. So you wrap, continue the wire over here, wrap, continue, wrap, do the same thing all the way down. Now, one of the questions that I get is on this, is there a positive and negative? And the answer is no. You have two positives or two negatives, however you like to say it. This right here and this right here are hot. So I'd say they're positive. So when you touch them together, you get electricity. If you hook one to a multiplier, you now have to hook the other to a multiplier to equal it. Or it's just going to be the strength of one versus the one that's not so much strength. And it'll come out a nice big spark. I've done it. It looks cool. It's absolutely terrifying sounding. And I'll show you that as well. Here is my new AC flyback I got here. Uh, just to show you, I'm still running the 1000 watt DBS and the 24 volt battery. And here it is connected and here's uh, the distance I'm getting out of it. So 
So now you see that there's one internally rectified, always looks the same, does not change. Looks a little different. Only two wires coming out of this, not the one wire and all the little wires on the bottom, just two. This is AC flyback again. This right here, just the two wires coming out. You wrap it right here. Here's your core. Same thing. That's an AC flyback. Right there, made for high voltage. You want that one, trust me. It's a good one. This right here is a voltage multiplier. Now, this right here rectifies the AC into DC. Now it can go through the air and expand like that. There's your rectification right here. Anytime you build a multiplier, it rectifies the AC coming out of the flyback to a DC. Let's take a look at the magnetic field of this thing. So we saw this, right? And we know this is the core. How does it work? So let's take a look real quick. Here is the magnetic bubble. Okay, I drew a little line so you can see it a little better. What it is is this. There's a bubble that forms right around here. There's another bubble that forms right around here. And another one here. Another one here. Every time you have one of these. Each one of the individual levels has a bubble. As they go one over the other, that's where you get the multiplication. Magnetic field over magnetic field over magnetic field and it's multiplying each time it goes through it no matter which side it is that you start off on this side or this side it'll continuously be the same thing so the question has to be sometimes is it truly AC coming out or is it something that gives you an AC symbol okay or is it something that is just a magnetic signature so, as you can see, this is what it does. I think, honestly, when they talk about the uh, electromagnetic universe, I heard a gentleman say magnetoelectric, and that's exactly what I think it is. So, anyway, this right here, you can see the bubbles forming. You can see the multiplication in it and how it works. Now that we've seen the difference between an AC and a DC flyback transformer, and we saw the multiplier with the AC flyback. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the DC flyback can do. It has some cool experiments to it, and I'll show you a couple here. So let's take a look at some of the applications for the DC flyback transformer. Now, there's various different powers that come out of it, and here's what I mean. One time you get a real thin spark, one time you get a real thick spark. If there's a lot of white in it, that means that there's a lot of amps in it. It will not do the flowing like this all that great. It'll be super hard to pull off. You want the one that has that thin line of spark. And every DC flyback transformer is a little different between uh, if you pull them out of a TV set, computer, or if you just buy them online. So when you find the right ones, you may have to go through a couple of them to get it. This right here is what you're going to get. This is one of the fun parts of the DC flyback. This right here is a big thick rod of aluminum. These right here are just saw blades. And you can see this and this are connected together. This right here is connected to the other side of the flyback on the negative side of the coil on the DC flyback. So this is what you get. Now you're going to hear a very specific sound every time that you get this. You want this, you're going to have to get, I'll turn the volume on, that sound. Now, why is that? It's basically the hiss of voltage coming together right there. When you have that sound and it's daytime out, you're not going to see this voltage right here. This has to be at night if you want to see this. So 
when it's dark outside in your garage, it's all black, turn this thing on. You hear that hiss, you know you're right there. Otherwise, it'll start to spark out right after that. So just get to the hiss and you're good. You get this right here. Looks, it looks like one of those plasma bridges from Halo. It's really cool. This right here is an experiment I did. This one got a little out of hand and I burnt some things down. This is also a uh, DC flyback. You can see right here, I caught the plastic on fire and it started to burn up. That's what the, you know, obviously fire back here. You see the voltage right here a little bit. So, just as, so you know, there was a lot of amps in this and I should have put more volts than amps and I didn't and I paid for it. I'll go ahead and show you the video on this. There it goes, look at that. Just started right on fire. Absolute voltage and fire. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but uh, you always got to try. Let's take a look at another one. This right here is a picture of my plasma axe that I'm working on. You can see that I use regular saw blades right here. Two of them, actually, is there three? There, I think there's two, it might be three. Yeah, there's three here smaller one and two bigger ones anyway I wanted to get as big and full plasma as I could right here and I need to get it just a bit more so I'm working on how many to put with this this is just the bar of aluminum here it's bent and you can see the plasma right here so let's take a look at this in the video You can see right here, this is the plasma in there. Comes out a little better when you just take a photo of it. It depends on lighting as well. So it was kind of, I had to put some light over here to get the contrast. But you can see the plasma coming off of it. That's a really cool experiment I'm doing. Hope you enjoy that one if you watched it. Here's an, another experiment that I did. This one is the double helix and this is with a uh, DC flyback transformer as you can see right here they go up I've shown this a couple times on my video here's the voltage right here all it is is the same exact setup with the flyback one's on the negative side one's on the positive side of the DC flyback And there it is, it travels right on up. One of the coolest things. I thought about maybe, hey, let's put some uh, nails or something in the in these things, and then let's run that AC flyback, see if we can't just get the voltage to come across and make it look like DNA. So I'm thinking about that. I'm gonna put two together, a small one, see if it works out. If it does, I'll make a bigger one like this. But I think that'd be really just awesome to look at. If you like what you saw here today, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a great day.